Welcome. In this video, we will give a demo of our CME feed handler where we'll measure its latency for channel 310. Before measuring the latency, let's have a brief overview of our lab setup. We have a traffic generator with the 10 gig network interface card installed. It is used to generate traffic. We have an SUT on which we run the feed handler. It is based on Intel Xeon E52640 V3 on which we have 64 GB DDR4 RAM and a SolarFlare X2522 network interface card. Then we have a timestamp server on which we have installed a SolarFlare X2522 NIC as well. This server can take hardware timestamps with 7 nanoseconds precision. Our traffic generator mocks the exchange. It sends the market data feed in UDP multicast and receives the order in TCP fix protocol. The SUT running the feed handler receives the market feed, builds the books, and sends a dummy order in fix format containing a unique sequence number after processing each packet. The fiber tab here mirrors the traffic coming in and out of the SUT to the timestamp server. The timestamp server takes hardware timestamps on the traffic. The unique sequence number helps us identify each packet. Then a post-processing script calculates the latency by measuring the time difference between a multicast packet and its TCP reply. Now let's move towards the demo. Please note here that the PCAPs being used during the demo are shortened to complete the test in less time. We will take two latency measurements, one for the standard spec version and one for the optimized version of the feed handler. This is the terminal for the SUT, which means this is where the feed handler will be running. On this terminal, we have our traffic generator and the timestamp server runs on this terminal. First, we will take the latency measurements of the standard spec feed handler. To start the test, we run our standard spec feed handler on the SUT. Then from the traffic generator, we send some packets so that the feed handler can complete its initial recovery. Once the initial recovery is done, we run the latency measurement script on the timestamp server and send the UDP multicast market data feed from the traffic generator. This UDP PCAP will take about 45 seconds to complete. While we are waiting for the test to complete, I'd like to highlight that you can get more information about our feed handlers at emumbai.com slash solution slash fintech. Now that our packet capturing is done, the latency measurement script will calculate the latency numbers and upon completion, it will upload the results to a Google Sheet. The latency calculation is done. For the next part of the test, we take the latency measurements of the optimized feed handler. For that, we run the optimized feed handler on the SUT. From the traffic generator, again we send some packets so that the feed handler can complete its initial recovery. The initial recovery is done and now we run the latency measurement script on the timestamp server and send the UDP market data from the traffic generator. The PCAP will take about 45 seconds to complete. While we are waiting, I'd encourage you to take a closer look at the latency stats on our solution slash fintech page which includes an HDR histogram for a full day performance test. Now our packet capturing is done and the post-processing script is calculating the latency numbers. Once completed, it will upload the, its results to the Google Sheet. Now let's move to the Google Sheet for comparison of latency measurements of standard spec and optimized feed handlers. It is to be noted once again that the PCAPs used here are shortened for the purpose of this demo. For more accurate latency numbers, particularly the higher percentiles, we test the feed handler with full day PCAPs. Comparing the two tests, we can see that the standard spec feed handler gives a mean latency of 9.251 microseconds, which drops to 1.327 microseconds in case of the optimized feed handler. Median gives about the same ratio of improvement where the latency decreases from 9.09 .09 to 1.311 microseconds. For standard spec version, the standard deviation is 635 nanoseconds, whereas that for the optimized version is 138 nanoseconds. Moving on to the percentiles, with the standard spec version, the 99th percentile lies at 11.303 microseconds and it reduces to 2.064 microseconds when running the optimized feed handler. In case of the 99.999th percentile, standard spec gives 19.5 microseconds, whereas optimized version gives around 3.9 microseconds. In the trading world, microseconds are dollars. With our drop-in integrable software feed handlers, you can consistently hit wire-to-wire -wire latency below 5 microseconds. 
Imagine enabling an entire trading operation with ultra low latency strategies like arbitrage in under a day and make more profits. This brings us to the end of our demo. For more information and questions, contact us at acceleratedsoftware at emamba.com. Thank you.